Hi, my name is Matt Gilbert. This is a lake trout, and you're watching VTTU. First fish on Mr. Big. All right. Today I have a very special contraption. It is a ski pole with a GoPro mount at the bottom and an old waterproof camera. There's a zip tied part of the handle here. My hope is that this is uh, this is my poor man's aqua view. <laughs> let's, let's see how it works. To go wrong. I got the underwater camera going and I have my money money vertical tube jig. Down she go. Today is March 16th, 2022 and I am out here at my lake trout fishing grounds yet again trying, trying to preserve the magic of the ice season. Oh, something had me there for a second. All right, all right, that's good, that's good. Either that or I hooked the bottom yesterday, I was hooking some clams and some bivalve type action, so. Right now I'm fishing the Mr. Big 43 with a, I believe, 20 pound braid and a 14 pound leader. And this is uh, it's certified to beans. I'm not, I'm not afraid to dislocate a Laker's jaw with this hook set. I, I don't want to hurt the fish. You, you know what I mean. It's uh, 8.38 in the AM. I'm, uh, I'm hoping for a Monica sighting today. I don't know if that's going to pan out, but the good news is we can edit that out later if she doesn't show up. The bite is not on yet, or I'm not doing the right thing, so let's see. Drag check. Yeah, I guess, I guess that'll have to be good enough, so. I haven't used this reel in a while, so if there's problems with it, I guess I'll find out, right? Oh, that's a fish streaking out. Chase it down, chase it down. First fish on Mr. Big. All right. Yeah. A good one, too. What a way to start the day. 26. Solid, 26. Hi, my name is Matt Gilbert. This is a lake trout, and you're watching VTTU. So, first fish on Mr. Big. 
that's gonna be awesome. Also, I think I might have gotten some footage on uh, an underwater camera, so we'll, uh, we'll see you soon. Yes! Yes! Oh, that was such a good fish. on actually catching a fish with the Frostbite Mr. Pig. Um, I really liked the ability to keep the hook, the fish pinned with the rod. It just, it, uh, the action of it was great. Um, the length is good though I will say I would probably not want to fish this inside my flip tent. I've done before but I have, you know, a couple couple feet to the hole here and if I had my tent drilled this way the door would be right there it would be tough to kind of to land the fish so landing the fish was good too and um, yeah I was able to hold the rod with one hand and get down and, and lift the fish and uh, or drag it out but yeah I just um, I would give the, the rod a B plus the, the only negative I can really say the, I don't know if you can see this, but there's kind of a, a curve down, and if I tighten this too much, it bends. Um, this, this little ring at the end here has come loose as well, so um, frostbite guys, I don't know what the best way to fix this is. Can I just put a new butt, butt on? Um, it'd be nice to know what, 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 have, what have I done wrong, because I really like this rod, it's awesome. Our second spot of the day. I'm trying to get this thing in a place where I can see it. This thing needs some work. Ugh. Okay, that's gonna have to work for now. Get this thing out. I always find the first drop to have some magic, so I want to get everything ready and I fire it down. Well, that's Mark. Something. Something pretty big, too. It is a beautiful, peaceful morning out here on the lake. Ah, I just probably one of my favorite places to be. It is kind of barren, but it's also quiet. That being said, I can hear a truck beeping in the background. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. And I scared it away. All right, I think I'm gonna size it down a little bit. Big, I really want to get another fish on you. This was just such a great rod to, you know what? One more drop. Can't hurt, right? I just really want to catch another fish on this rod. One thing I'm not crazy about with the Sahara reel, and I don't know if maybe it's like a setting or something somewhere, but it's, uh, it has no clicks on the drag. So when it, when it spools, it just never goes. Gonna go pinky. Okay, hooked up with another fish. Ooh, ooh, a good 
good one. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. Right at the hole. Definitely bigger than my last one. Definitely more pissed. Let's see what we got for Meji. Measurement. This looks to be. I mean, <laughs> look. His tail is right up to 28. <laughs> Chill, chill. That's gonna have to be good enough. Here we go. Fish numero dos. He wants to go home. Splish. Splash. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, tube jigs. Not just any tube jigs. Vertical tube jigs with a trailer on the back. Irresistible. Lake Trout cannot resist. It's, just, it's a fact. Just checking my line for abrasions. Make sure there's nothing too obvious. Yeah. That was that was a good fish. So we know they're here. That's awesome. Bundled up a little bit more. It is, it is a little windy and chilly out here today. It's uh, it's not bad. I think uh, I think Monica's actually going to stop by for a little bit. Yeah, the bite has not been as turned up as it was yesterday, though there are twice as many people here. Not not that you can see them. They're out up there, out in the fog of war. Oh yeah, we got a chaser. Wow, that was cool. I actually lured a few fish in with the, uh, <laughs> the drill. I drilled a hole and a bunch of fish came in. Because that doesn't work all the time, but it's something you can, you can try. One other thing I want to mention today is that this, uh, this Mojo rod now has a 10 pound braid on it with a 10 pound um, mono leader. Yesterday it it uh, it failed me on a four four or five fish, and uh, I just once you, once you lose confidence in the line that's spooled on your reel, you can't you can't hook set confidently. So um, yeah, I uh, I've landed a fish on this, and I've landed a fish on Mr. Big, and both of them I'm not I'm not afraid to give them the beans, frijoles, whatever you want to call it. Sometimes you just gotta give it to him. That's some sort of bait down there. And I am now officially doing the tube jig. Do the tube jig. Oh, there's a big old bait cloud. This, this is uh, very positive. I've seen some marks down there, but nothing wants to rise up. All right, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we got another little, little 
dink on the line. There we go. Another dastardly deed on the vertical tube jig. I am not even gonna measure this fish. This cute little guy. He's a wee lad, but he's keeping it going. Guess what? Today's your day. You get to live. These fish are so beautiful. It's a little bit past or around 11. Monica is almost here. That could have been her fish. Could have been her fish. Wish it was. <laughs> I'd be really bummed if she comes out here and doesn't catch anything, but you know. Insert joke about fishing and not catching. All right, everybody. Welcome to the channel. The lovely, beautiful, and brilliant Monica. Have a seat. Not a fan of the size, but let's see. It's... Okay. It's been slow, and it's been just like a grinding numbers kind of kind of day. Mm -hmm. So you just got to keep it down there, keep it moving, just like stay focused and you'll, you'll get a chance. Oh, also yesterday I wished you a happy birthday off camera, but now you're here. Happy birthday. <laughs> I hope we can get you a nice birthday fish today. But as always, no guarantees. Um, how was your birthday? What did you do for your birthday? I went to Jay and got the cords with the fresh. Oh, that's nice. It's like they knew, they were like, oh, Monica is here. Let's, let's get her up there. So four inches of fresh J. That sounds awesome. Storm chasing. Connor threatened my boot choice. They're, my feet are dry, but they're, my toes are a little cold. Yeah, you're you're smart with that whole heat and sock thing. I think you're on something. Up. And I'm off. Oh, that was amazing timing, Monica. <laughs> did, you, did that really just happen? Oh my God. They they like the, the garlic. They like the garlic. They just both love the garlic. Yeah. Have a seat, Monica. Oh. Allow me. <laughs> Ah, here's for the channel. A nice, uh, we'll call it eight, 18 incher. Nice fish. All right. You know, I think he wants to go back. <laughs> Monica, on the board. That was like hook set on command. I literally turned the camera on and you were like, I'm on! <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so they, they like the garlic. They like the garlic. I mean, I was gonna put a spoon on, but uh, I see no reason we shouldn't send that back down. This is the, uh, the sauce that we've had luck with today. We're not sponsored, but dip it. Bop it. Spike it. Catch it. I think you got a chance at another fish or two. Not, not the uh, not the bonanza that it was yesterday, but you know, I'm hoping there's a couple more down there for you. Well, sandwich time. I got you. Today's menu is a honey maple turkey, lettuce, and mayo and cheese. Thanks for coming out and fishing with me. <laughs> you anyway. <laughs> That's why we don't go out, people. 
<laughs> oh, at least you didn't get it down the hole. No. Mm -mm. No! No! That was my phone down the hole. Did you literally just drop your phone down the hole? Yeah. That just happened. I knew I should have fucking ripped up my pocket. Well, you said I needed a new phone. All the positive vibes just. 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 Oh my god. I knew I should have fucking zipped up my pocket. What was I thinking? So things have taken a decidedly negative turn today. And uh, we've decided that I'm just gonna call it a day early. Could stay out a little bit longer, but with only one phone between us and not close to home, it's uh, not, a, not a great thing to get lost as well, so. Um, thanks, thanks for watching. <laughs> Things are fucking awful right now. This is bad, but life, life will improve. Um, my name is Matt Gilbert. Thank you for coming along on this adventure. Monica, thank you for coming out. And I'm sorry about your phone. That was my phone down the hole. Did you literally just drop your phone down the hole? Yeah.